Hey there, it's Barb. <laughs> I've got a little surprise for you today. I got a little clever. No, I'm just kidding. But um, um, we're going to do the crumble cookies two days later after you buy them. Because we always talk about how wonderful and warm they are. Well, if you can't eat it all, are they all right two days later? So this is Wednesday, and I got them on Monday. You know that. And, um, oh, this is going to be fun. Because I've always said that sometimes a cookie that tastes really great warm a couple days later doesn't taste as good and a cookie that I didn't care for two days later tastes perfect. You know how sometimes some things have to marinate? So that's what we're going to do today, okay? How y'all doing? I hope you're doing okay. And uh, just hang in there, all righty. You'll have some fun today with me, I hope. <laughs> I don't know. Or you can just yell at me and that way you can get some of your anger out instead of at your your, your uh, partner or your uh, kids or whatever. So, you know, let it out, folks. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, let's let's get to business, okay? Ah, you know I just love doing this. It's just so much fun. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so dee, 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 dee. we're going to start with the first one I started with um, on Monday. And that was that birthday cake featuring the Oreo cookie. And it looked like this, just to remind you. Of course, it's partially eaten. Now, I have to tell you, I haven't been eating all these by myself. My partner's been helping. <laughs> I want my neighbors to help soon, but right now I just can't help myself. Okay, so let's give this a try, okay? I'll give it a bite, right? Okay, right here and see. And I haven't had them now, so let me see. Excuse me. Well, I gotta tell you. That chocolate isn't as chocolatey, but it's chocolate enough. And the icing, I got to taste again. Because remember, I would taste it was nice, soft and gooey. And I said, well, when you taste it separate, it tasted like the inside of an Oreo. Let me take another bite. I kind of feel like it tastes more like an Oreo than when it was hot. Let me get this icing. The icing doesn't stand out to me. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. Not after two days. I mean, I gotta tell you, any of these cookies is a nice treat. I keep messing with my back here. I can't figure out what I want, how I want to sit. It's good. It tastes really like a, a like a, a iced brownie, but the icing isn't really strong. That icing is much better when it's warm. I mean, it's a good cookie. Um, it's just, uh, you know, when it was hot, it stood out like a little little lady. Um, anyway, <laughs> whatever. Okay. I'm going to move on because we've got a lot to cover. Because you know what? I'm going to cover one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cookies uh, two days old. Okay? So, Barbara's got a lot of chomping to do and a lot of work to do here, you know. This is hard work for a girl. And, uh, you know, I'm sacrificing for all of you, all right? Because, you know, somebody's got to do it. You know, what if you're having a party and you have leftovers? Do you serve it? Okay. Okay, this is the blueberry muffin one. Yeah, this is the blueberry muffin. Yeah, blueberry muffin cookie. Ooh, look at in there. Oh, this one I love. This was a really delightful surprise. My partner loved it, too. Hmm. <laughs> when it was warm, you really tasted that streusel, kind of blueberry streusel thing because you had the crispy and then the warm on the inside. Now, at first, it almost tasted like an oatmeal cookie in a way. I mean, not, not really not with a flakes of oatmeal, but um, it's like a like their wonderful batter, but maybe... Um, you could taste a little hint of blueberry. I felt like the blueberry wasn't as strong now, but it could be me. Yeah. And it's interesting. That better, it's almost like you should warm it up again. Um, someone had commented on my channel that they were going to order some. And I didn't know if I could say your name. But anyway, um, and so she was ordering stuff because she didn't have a crumble cookies but two hours away. And so... 
I had told her, I said, well, if they don't taste all right, then just warm them up for just a titch. I don't know if that's okay that I said that crumble, but I told them that I didn't represent your company or anything. But anyway, um, oh, come on, let me take another bite. Yeah. It's just a mild blueberry hint and um, um, more uh, more of a plain cookie, but it, I mean, it's very good, okay? The, the bottom line is you gotta know, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think crumble cookies rocked it out of the park, right? Um, or hit it out of the ballpark. I tell you, it's funny as you get older, you start like putting in different words and you start making up different things. So if you say, oh, that's not quite right, Barbara, just know, just have pity on the poor girl, okay? <laughs> okay. This one, uh, the hazelnut sea salt. Now I remember I really liked this one, and now it's not, not now it's not um warm and gooey and dewy. Excuse me, my little nose. I didn't itch it though, did I? I didn't itch it. I used a little Kleenex and just rubbed. And later, as I as I become more improved, I'll I'll just tap my nose. Anyway, <laughs> okay, this is hazelnut with sea salt. Let me give you a little look. See, remember that little baby? <laughs> <laughs> I get so excited when I have these cookies. My poor dog Daisy's in the back going, oh, there she goes, talking to herself again. <laughs> okay, let's take a little bite, right? Oh. Oh, 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 you guys. Mm, mm, mm. This gets better. It was good before. Mmm. This is one of those cookies that needs to marinate a little bit. It, I, but I remember really liking it before. I don't taste the sea salt as much, but it just depends on... Oh, there's still a little blue sparkle from when I was celebrating. Oh, that's funny. Mardi Gras. I hope this isn't too mean, having these donuts on Ash Wednesday. But a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. And this girl's got to have a little, brand, a little cookie. Okay. This is really nice. This is good a couple days later. I'm going to take another bite. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what happens. The, the um, hazelnut cream gets harder. It's not as gooey. And it kind of stands together. They both just sit together just like a pretty little pitcher. Let me taste that. Mm-hmm. Gonna take a little... <laughs> I took a little bite of the cookie and I said, well, I gotta take a little bite of the icing now. Yeah. That one, that one's standing tall, my friends. That one's standing tall. I give that one a nine, um, maybe higher. Um, the blueberry, I, I'd have to, that probably dropped to about an eight, I think, or seven. And the birth, I'd say the, the birthday cake was a seven. The blueberry was an eight and the net the the hazelnut it was a nine maybe nine and a half because i really like that one i'm kind of in a goofy mood so beware i'm trying to harness myself in because i can be really really strange <laughs> i just like let myself be this nice thing about getting older people don't worry about getting older who cares about the friggin wrinkles and that's just a silliness but um you just get more and more who you are and who you're who you're meant to be you know you just you don't care you wear the same shirt three days in a row, whatever. Who cares? Um, and you just let yourself be. You let your freak fly. No, your freak flag fly. <laughs> I always said, I was always worried. I always said this in my 20s. I said, you guys, I'm so worried when I get older. Because what if I'm 90 years old and I act the same way I act now, and they put me away because I'm crazy. I'm that way all my life. <laughs> okay, I have to get busy now. This is serious business. Okay. So, next is the sugar cookie. No, you know what? I'm going to change it up. Let me eat this. Oh, no, I hadn't finished the first batch. The snickerdoodle. Okay, here's the snickerdoodle. We love a snickerdoodle. Doodly snick, doodly snick. Okay, there's still some blue sparkles on this one, too, from the last time. Okay, snickerdoodle. Good memories. This holds up. I think this is one of those that marinates too. It gets better. I think it's better than last time. I always love a snickerdoodle cooking. Just a little more bite, okay? 
You don't mind. Yeah. We're happy with this camper. This is a beautiful little cookie. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe an eight and a half. Okay. Next. Oh, we're going strong now. I'm going to take a little station break. Crumble cookies, crumble cookies. Two days old, who really cares? Because they get better and I get happier. I'm making up the words right now because I want to. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay. Get serious, Barbara. Serious, period. Here's the sugar cookie. This is the uh, this is the signature one for crumble cookies. It's there all the time, but now they're changing that with the vanilla sugar cookie and the pink swirl, perfect swirl uh, sugar cookie. Let me show you what we got left here. They're pretty swirly. Um, and the, the pink swirl icing has uh, almond um, in it, almond flavoring. It's not a real almond or I'd be in the hospital. You all know that. I haven't had to go. Thank goodness. Oh, okay. You all, this is another one of those. This is good warm. Oh, I mean, this is always to serve cold. It's good at room temperature. I'm happy. I got crumbs all over me. Do, 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 all over the car. I vacuumed the car and cleaned it yesterday because we had been at the beach and I had sand everywhere and Crumbs, and now, look at me, just throwing it all over the car again. Can't take this girl anywhere. Mmm. Yeah, that one, I say an eight off the top of my head. I don't know, probably close to a nine, maybe an eight and a half. It's just, um, I love that almond taste in it. Some people don't care for that. Different strokes, different folks. You know, the truth is, I read some of the comments, and, well, I read all my comments, uh, but, uh, I don't get that many. <laughs> I'm a newbie. Come on. I haven't even been here a month. Um, I haven't been here a month, but I'm very proud of my channel. Today has gotten over a thousand views. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just thought nobody's going to watch these. It's funny because they don't watch the ones about just me yapping. I think they just want me to taste the darn cookies. They got to put up with me talking until I taste the cookies. Sorry, I just found some crumbs down here. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm reaching for the crumbs. I'm trying to clean up. Okay. You don't have to be here while I clean up. Let's get serious. Okay. We ate the sugar cookie. Let's eat that blue monster. Remember the blue monster cookie from a week ago? Now, this hasn't been sitting here a week. I'll tell you the truth. Well, I always tell you the truth, but um, the deal was is that yesterday um, they had some leftovers from the week before, which I was so excited about. So I kind of like made it like it was two different weeks, but it wasn't. Um, I even changed shirts. I don't know if you noticed. I don't think you're watching me that closely. But anyway, the Blue Monster cookie is featuring the Chips Ahoy. Chippy Ahoy! But the Chip Ahoy little mini cookie has uh, gone to my belly and probably my partner's belly and is uh, doing his thing. <laughs> but anyway, let's try this one. This is the one with the Chips Ahoy inside of it with the brown sugar cookie and all. <laughs> Daisy's looking at me. I don't know if you can see her. No, she's behind the seat. I tell you, that blue icing is all right. Not a lot of flavor to it because it's not really supposed to. It's just blue to, you know, blue monster. You know, that icing doesn't really, doesn't really help it. It doesn't hurt it. Well, it kind of hurt it when it was warm. Now it doesn't really kind of hurt it because it gives it a little more moisture. I mean, it's a good cookie, like I say. It's just, um, I think it's lost a little of its pizzazz, a little bit. I give it a seven. It might be in rough today. I just, I don't want to be rough. I don't want to be rough or gruff. 
Oh, I'm going to cough now. The water went down the wrong pipe. Jiggle around down there. Everything's good. Okay. We're just zipping through these cookies. I'm not chit-chatting as much. <clears throat> <coughs> I'd like to ask you if you mind me sharing my stories, but then I'm afraid you'll say you, you do mind, so then I won't be able to do them, and I want to do them because, hey, listen, I'm not getting paid for this business. I'm not sponsored or anything. I'm not making a penny. In fact, it's taking money out of my little Social Security check. So, people, have pity on the poor girl. Okay, I got to calm it down. The sugar's starting to hit. I can feel it rising. I'm starting to go, whoa! <laughs> oh, goodness sakes, people. Oh, goodness sakes. I sure do love this. I'm so fortunate. Um, oh, look at this. This one says Mount Mitchell. Elevation, 6,684. I live right, by Mount, right near Mount Mitchell off the Blue Ridge Parkway. Come see you sometime. <laughs> I love living in Asheville. I moved here from New York City. What a culture shock that was. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was a culture shock. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you a story now. I wasn't planning to, but I'm going to tell you. So um, what happened was, so from New York City, I just, you know, realized I wasn't happy and um, all that kind of stuff. And I thought, well, it's time to move on. Didn't know what to do with the rest of my life, so I said, oh, you know, everyone said, well, be a counselor, be a social worker. You always have people in your in your room. You're always talking to them. So anyway, I came down to Asheville, and it was a culture shock. The first week, I remember, people would be driving their cars, and I'd be walking, and they'd do something. And I'd be like, what are they doing? Like, what are they doing? And then then, then a couple of days passed, and I'd see them kind of lift up their hand. I'm like, what are oh, God. I don't know. I just got to ignore these people. And a little later, a couple more days later, I saw them and you see them go. They're going like that. I said, what is that? I said, I think they're waving to me. I think they're waving to me. And so then, you know, a couple days later, I see them go. I go, they're waving to me. They're being nice. And so then, <laughs> and then, then all of a sudden I realized I got to wave back. And it took me a while. So when the people would go like this, I'd be like, hi. <laughs> The thing is, is New York City gets a bad rap for this. New York City is a wonderful, wonderful place. It's so exciting. But um, a lot of people say how people are cold or they don't say hello and that you're not supposed to look other people in the eye. That's just not true, people. I mean, I, I, I lived there for like six and a half years or something. I can't remember. I always thought it was seven and a half, but I just talked to my old friend and she said, no, it was six and a half. It doesn't matter. Whether it was six or seven or seven and a half or six and a half, I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> and they say, don't look the other, each other in the eye. Well, I, I did. I look people in the eye. I just say hi, but I was busy saying hi to everybody. But we just had a good time out there. Love New York City. But anyway, so shout out to you New Yorkers. You New Yorkers. Hey, this is Bob here. Okay, I'm not, I'm, I don't, that don't, don't mean that as a mini aggression, all that stuff. I just, um, I just love people. Anyway, I got to get on with my job. This isn't a job. This is just fun. This is just fun talking to you all. Okay. So anyway, so it took me a while to adjust to the friendliness that was in Asheville and Swannanoa. And Swannanoa is right next to Asheville. And, um. It was just, it's just been wonderful. I thought I'd be here for six months to a year, maybe a year and a half at most. My old friends in New York City were like, Barbara, when are you coming back? And I say, hey, I'm halter breaking cattle here. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm uh, in charge of the butcher room. <laughs> I had a great time. I love seeing that every little spot of meat was used. Anyway, now I'll start talking way too long. I already have. So let's get busy. I did the sugar cookie and we did the blue monster. So we only have two left. So that's okay, right? Okay, so next is the German chocolate cake cookie. It's layered with melted chocolate under, underneath it. Underneath this big old blob of goodness is some, a milk chocolate on top of the cookie. And it had coconut and pecan topping. And I remember this to me felt almost both were too rich. Now my partner, this is her favorite. So I won't, I'll try not to eat it all. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner, cookie dinner. Winner, winner, cookie dinner. Oh, this little, this little peanut, this little slice of heaven. You guys, this is good. This is marinade. This is, this is better. I think this is better um, a couple days later. Penny loved it right away. 
You got that, that brownie in the bottom, and then there's some chocolate chips in there. Woohoo! And then you've got the coconut and the pecan and whatever this gooey gooey stuff is. It all, before I thought it was like, maybe I just got a big blop. I really think they gave me a little extra big blop, and that's okay with me. <laughs> it's kind of like, no, no shade now. You know I love the Girl Scouts. That Samoa cookie, only, you know, like five times, six, ten times bigger, but soft. Oh, yeah. If you like a Samoa cookie from the Girl Scouts, you got to get this little pickle. But go buy those Samoa cookies right now. And then, you know, Girl Scout cookies don't aren't all year. And then you can come back to this little baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like this. I like this German chocolate cake cookie from Crumble Cookies. Woo-hoo! Heaven, I'm in heaven. Do, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. That's a good cookie. I tell you, that's hitting it all the ballpark. Right now, I say, that is close to a 12, if not a 12. And I know I only rate from zero, from 1 to 10, but that one, woo, 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 woo. Oh, I am flying on that one. Flying on that one, you guys. I like that one. Can you tell? <laughs> okay, we're on the last one. Now, this may not be fair because I just had that winner, winner cookie dinner. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody's, uh, of course, somebody's working around here. What, what are people doing working during the weekdays? I'm going to start this engine and just shut the windows a little bit. I'm sorry I'm doing this, but I think that that might make life a little easier on you. Okay, there you go. I hope that didn't disturb you too much. But, you know, this is the deal. I'm not at my home. My partner likes her privacy, and I respect that. So I'm out in the car. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay with me. Okay, so last cookie. Two days old, and it's the ch milk chocolate chip cookie, which is um, one they have all the time. And uh, remember Peter Moon, now he's been in the hospital, so you guys be, be um, sending him lots of good healing, positive energy. Um, but his partner loved this cookie. So this is for you. Okay, let me take a bite of this. Wait a minute, this is not fair. I need a little sip of water. I still had remains of that German chocolate. Remember I said next time I hit coconut, I have it last because it stayed in my teeth? Well, I didn't, so I got I to gotta follow my music, but I'm not reading the sheets. Okay, here you go. Okay. Let me tell you. Two things are going on in my head. I'm trying to concentrate on tasting this cookie. And when I said, <laughs> got to read the music on the sheets. I didn't mean bed sheets. I mean, you know, sheets of music. They call them sheets of music. Pages of music. Paper. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just a weirdo. Hey, listen. I have to tell you. Good news, Grumble. This cookie gets better with a couple days, too. My opinion. Yeah, definite 10. Classic. Maybe 11 or 12 on this baby. Yeah, we're hitting it out of the ballpark with these last ones, old baby, baby. Uh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. You know, as long as you know that it's a milk chocolate chip cookie and not uh, a regular chocolate chip cookie, will you think of semi-sweet dark chocolate? Mm-hmm. I want to finish this cookie, and I'm not going to. Because guess what? <laughs> I got to go pick up some dinner on the way home. <laughs> Don't worry. It's a very lean dinner. Very good for his dinner. Yay, 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 yay. Two days later, and guess what, Crumble? You passed the test. You did good. A plus in my book. You did good. I was always wondering. I said, well, but, I, you know, it's hard to keep those cookies around. And that's the truth. You know, you, you want to get them warm. They're just divine. And, of course, they're going to change a bit. This is like with any, any baked goods. Some get um, not as tasty and some just marinate and get better. So that's my little opinion in this little corner of my little pocket of the world. So, anyway, well, I, I hope you didn't mind hanging out with me. I had a good time with you, and I hope you take good care of yourself. And, hey, enjoy the cookies. Talk to you later. Bye now.